A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 26th May, Sunday. On the front page you have, Modi underlines need for inclusiveness at NDA meet. So as head of parliamentary party, he needs president to form next government. So he's talking of inclusiveness. The NDA uh, is a coalition of number of parties. So Mr. Modi urged all NDA MPs to work in the spirit of inclusiveness and public service. And he said, Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas, or Sapka Vishwas. Then below you have three assaulted jailed for carrying meat in MP. So five attackers arrested after video of the incident goes viral. So five men were arrested in Sioni district of Madhya Pradesh for allegedly assaulting three persons, including a woman, on suspicion that they were transporting beef. So the district police. Uh, has uh, said the victims were stopped by the accused when they were traveling in an auto rickshaw near a restaurant. So it is said that they were beaten with sticks and the attack was videotaped too. The video has gone viral on social media. So attackers are taking turns to rain blows on the men. And you know, um, but later one of the victims himself was forced to beat the woman accompanying him with a slipper and made to chant Jai Shri Ram. And here you can see the police, they reached the spot and arrested the three victims on suspicion that they were carrying beef. So they were beaten also and then they were arrested on suspicion that they were carrying beef. So the beef has been sent to lab for testing. And here you have alert in Kerala after intelligence report on IS boat. So 72 police stations have been asked in Kerala to step up vigil. Because a uh, postal alert has been sounded because there's this intelligence report that 15 people with ties to Islamic State have left Sri Lanka in a white boat bound for Lakshadweep and Minifar Islands. So they are off Kerala coast, 400 kilometers off Kochi, Lakshadweep. Then below you have advocate employee held in Dabulkar murder case. So CBI has found prima facie evidence of involvement of Hindu Vidhintriya. Vidhidhinya Parishad leader. So this is advocate Sanjay Kunlekar, National Secretary of Hindu Vidhidhinya Parishad, an offshoot of Hindu Jan Jagruti Samiti and Vikram Bhave who worked at, at Kunalekar's office. They have been arrested by the CBI in connection with the 2013 murder of Narendra Dabolkar. So Mr. Narendra Dabolkar was shot dead in 2013 in Pune by two bike born assailants. So CBI has taken over the case and it says that it has found prima facie evidence of the involvement of these two people. And you should know about Sanjeev Punalekar. He is a defense lawyer for some of the accused in Thane, Vashi and Malegao blast cases. You should know that this murder, Narendra Dhavolkar, he was a rationalist. You know, he was against superstitions which are ingrained in culture so he was uh, scorned at and finally when he was murdered so he his murder is also linked to murder of Govind Pansare, M.M. Kalburgi and Gauri Lankesh so these all were rationalists and rights activists who have been murdered. On page 10 you have election commission yet to receive data on VVPAT slips so election commission is receiving countrywide data and is yet to receive the entire data on the mandatory matching of VVPAT slips with EVMs in five random polling booths in each assembly segment. But then it said that there are no adverse reports from any segment. Presumably there have been 100% tallying of EVM votes with the slips. So still the full data is not available but this is initial observation. And this is women's strength in Lok Sabha up to a record 14.4%. So BJP leads with 40 women MPs. B, uh, uh, BJD and Trimul have highest ratio. So these are the number of women MPs in Lok Sabha. It is overall 14.4%, highest so far. On international page you have defying Congress from decides to sell arms to Saudi Arabia UAE. So weapons are meant to deter Iranian aggression is what the US Secretary of State Mike Pampo says. And below you have can't advise Jews on Kippa official. So Germany's government commissioner on anti-Semitism, anti-Jewish, Semitism is with respect to Jews. So these 
scheme. This government uh, commissioner has actually warned Jews about the potential dangers of wearing the traditional chippa cap in the face of rising anti-Jewish attacks. But it said that it cannot advise Jews to wear the kippah everywhere, all the time in Germany. And on the last page here you have, IISC researchers confirm superconductivity breakthrough. So, achieving superconductivity at room temperature and pressure represents a major advance which Indian Institute of Science researchers have achieved. So, a material is a superconductor if it conducts electricity with zero resistance to the flow of electrons. So, that is a superconductor. So, superconductivity can be obtained, but then it requires high temperature pressure. This is achieved at normal temperature pressure. And below you have Russia launches Arctic icebreaker. So, an icebreaker ship as such, nuclear powered ship, which aims at tapping commercial benefits in the Arctic region and ensuring dominance there has been launched by Russia. So, these are the important headlines. Thank you.